Hello guys and welcome back again in this requested video from this cool fan his name is Fault Official Channel Right, he requested a 7 liter V8 with a high bore and the lowest stroke as possible So let's say he, he did not mention if he wants it a 60 degrees or 90 degrees so I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna go with 90 degrees V8, magnesium, he wants uh, the best materials which is easy so let's go with the lowest stroke and the highest bore until we hit the 7 liter mark. Right. Alright, that is super perfect. 7000 cc which is 7 liter precisely. So 114.1 millimeter and 85.6 millimeter for the stroke. Dual overhead camshaft, 5 valves per cylinder, aluminium silicon. Let's see, and also he did not mention that if he, if he wants a cross plane or a flat plane. So, I don't know, I'm gonna guess flat plane maybe. Titanium, forged, forged yes, and plus 15, plus, he wants plus 15 quality for everything. <clears throat> Alright, let's start, since this engine will be naturally aspirated, I'm gonna hit the compression ratio to 12.5 to 1 for a start. The highest cam profile, VVT for all cams, plus 15, naturally aspirated, direct injection, throttle per cylinder, yes, he did not mention if he wants a direct injection or multi-fuel, multi-fuel, or multi-EFI fuel injection, alright, alright, so, let's see, we have 100 octane fuel, Right, I'm talking fuel and let's see. Let's start with 13.5. 60, deg 60 degrees and let's see if we, how much RPM we can get out of this bad boy. Plus 15 race. As you as you know as you noticed here, I put a performance intake manifold, not a racing intake manifold because. Performance is better when give you more reliability. Let's see, you think 800? Okay, let's see, high flow three-way, no need for mufflers, and plus 15 quality. 952 horsepower for a start. That's amazing. Alright, so let's tune this engine to, to perfection. Let's see, we have 90.8. So we still have a ton of room left. Right, and uh, let's see, 13.1. We can go up to 9,700. That's the max they can. This engine can go up to. Right. I mean, we will lose power after after 8,700. It will start dropping down. So let's see, 13.021, 13, Right. 99, all right, 14.3. No, we will start losing power. So yes, we have reached the maximum fuel mixture, which is 12. 12 point, oh yes. This is the racing manifold, so I'm gonna use it. And let's see the exhaust size. It's perfect like this. Hmm. Right, so let's see this bad boy.
Right, so this is, as you saw, this beast makes ton of power, which is 1,054 horsepower and 714 pound-feet of torque, which is super, super high. I mean, I'm impressed. It's awesome. Let's see, what can we play with? Hmm. Oh, I, I think this engine is has been pushed to the max. Yes, this engine is, has been pushed to the max. I mean, if I want, I can take off take off the catalytic converter, but this engine will will be super toxic, and I will only gain five horsepower. I mean, five horsepower is not really that uh, that much of an, of an upgrade. Let's see, what else can we do? The cam is fully on. We are losing 99. I mean, if I pushed one more few we will start losing right I can push one only 99 and a half right I can go for 14.4 to 1 wow that's amazing the exhaust the exhaust itself is just perfect size three and a half inches or 88.9 millimeter is the correct diameter we are using 99.9 .9 octane 17.8 fuel economy for a racing engine with that much fuel going in that's impressive it has super reliability because I know 70 is not really a lot but remember there are no air filters here so the engine is sucking dust and crap and it still have 70 reliability which is amazing the throttle response is fully on 100% so yes just a tick of a throttle and the engine will just burst into life uh, smoothness not really great because this is a racing engine this is not a Rolls-Royce engine so yes this designed this engine has been designed to rip off the car to give you too much horsepower so you can fly off the line like a flaming fueled dragon and the material cost is sixteen thousand three hundred and twenty dollars which is really really expensive and it will take super super long time to make and produce because this engine is let's say we can say handmade or it has the most high-end quality ever ever made in real life and as you can see the engineering time is 1203 hours which is super 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 high the engine is super noisy or super loud because there are no restrictions everywhere. It requires high cooling, 837.2. The performance index is good. Everything is good. I mean, I wish this engine can rev up to 10,000 RPM, but it will start destroy itself, destroying itself. So I'm gonna keep it like. I mean, if I want this make to make this engine perfect, I would drop the RPM up to 9,000. As you can see, the power band is acceptable now. I mean, it will start losing power from 8,700, 8,700 up to 9,000. But 300 RPM, you won't, you won't notice that. But if I keep it on 9,700, as you can see, the power band will drop significantly. So these extra RPMs, they are not they are not useful. So 9,000 is perfect. Let's see what else. I, this engine, as I said, is is fully on 100% complete. This engine has been pushed to the max. If I pushed more fuel in, it will, it will start running rich and to start losing power. The ignition timing is 100%. The camshaft is 100%. We're using direct injection throttle body per cylinder. Racing, no air filters. The exhaust has no no air restrictions and I cannot go higher because I'm gonna lose torque and I will not gain any horsepower so everything is perfect everything at plus 15 let's hear this this engine for the last time before we put it and save it for, for another or future pro projects
Alright guys, as you can hear this engine sounds amazing, I mean flat plane crankshaft is the most amazing crankshaft ever, I mean it, uh, it's Italian made and it's Italian design, make this engine really really prestigious and makes it a high end racing engine. I mean I can use cross plane, uh, it, will sign, it will sound brutal but let's see, let's see what's the difference it will make. Actually, it will make a little bit. It will change the power band a little bit, and as you can see, the cross plane is more smooth than the flat plane, and the cross plane is is ex more expensive, and it's more expensive. It takes less time to produce. It will it need more cooling a little bit. It will make better uh, reliability. But, but it's heavier and it, it has a, a slightly better fuel performance index so I can see that uh, the cross plane in this, in this application is better so let's hit the cross plane because it will sound brutal ho 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 Alright guys, this engine sounds amazing, amazing. I mean, I like the flat plane, but the cross plane will, will always be a soft, will always get a soft plane, in my, a soft place in my heart because, wow, it, it sounds like a shouting, wild, loving dragon. Wow, amazing. I hope <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a requested video, and I like I like these requested that uh, they are straightforward. No play around uh, because this this fan uh, this fan has told me uh, all the specs that you want. I mean most of them, not all of them, because there are some mysteries here. But uh, I pulled it off, and I hope he likes it, and I hope you really guys enjoy it too. If you enjoyed this video, remember guys to hit that like button, please. And if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and hit that subscribe button so you can enjoy more cool videos, more cool videos like this one. And remember to request more cool videos like this one, please. And uh, you, you will see this uh, button when you hit subscribe, the ringing bell something button. You could, if, if you press it, you will get all the notification when I up upload a new video, so you will not miss anything when I upload anything. So thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you in another video soon, and bye bye.